So today I just wanted to take a quick look at 1970s, the Diane Linkletter story. So, and I guess you could say, I don't know if it was intended purposely, but John Waters basically filmed or worked on this film the day following the suicide of Diane Linkletter, um, who, to my understanding, was had very, I guess, limited um, acting work, primarily to my understanding. She is just known for her suicide. And she was the daughter of Art Linkletter following her, um, her death, which I guess you could say basically was a suicide. She had jumped from, I believe, a six-story building and died from her injuries, although her father maintained that it was the LSD that killed her, that it was not a suicide. So it, it gives more of the understanding that she had a bad trip, jumped out a window, and uh, eventually died. But this is definitely a, um, I guess you could say, this is definitely a quick-paced or short film. So you do have the typical, um, I guess you could say, overacting from the Dreamland crew. At the time, obviously, Devine is playing the role of Diane Linkletter. And this is basically just a fictitious retelling. So she's all hippied out. She's on drugs. Um, her parents don't like the guy she's dating. And it, it reads more as she jumps because her parents were coming down on her and didn't like the guy she was seeing. Um, which, you know, wasn't really the case, technically, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely interesting, especially, I guess you could say it, it had more to do with um, Art Linkletter's um, background or um, his, his weight as, um, I guess you could say, a celebrity at the time is why the the death of his daughter actually had so much pull, but to my understanding, she was only known for the Red Skeleton Show, which... Um, was kind of like a variety type show. She also was on the Link Letter Show, which was a um, a television series. To my understanding, she was a co-host, but she did pass away at the age of twenty. But it, it's kind of hard not to want to laugh at this. You know, it's kind of like you know, so John Waters. You know, to just kind of like want to chuckle and say, you know, he he did this thing, which really the film was only made because he wanted to test some new. Um, equipment. I believe it was the sound that he wanted to test on a new camera and they just quickly slapped this film together and it just became a thing. So this one is actually still around. It is viewable. Um, I will go ahead and link uh, this short in the description box if anyone wants to take a look at that. But yeah, just super quick thoughts on this. Um, once again, I'm not very familiar with um, Diane Linkletter, um, but you know, if you want to share any thoughts or educate me on her, I would definitely um, love to continue that discussion with you guys. But that is all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later.